Yes, blessed love. Once again, we're here in Greencastle Hill, Mount Anu. And we have visiting us all the way from Guyana, Brother Abu. And I know Brother Abu is a photographer and an economist, an economist, pardon me, and so many different things. But my good brother, if you could just give the people a quick word on what you think of the experience right here on Mount Anu, Greencastle Hill. Absolutely awesome, beautiful. Um, it's nice to see untouched um, tropical climate. I think for such a small island, Antigua is indeed a very, very beautiful place. And in terms of tourism, I think it's something worth pursuing. Um, of course, in an environmentally friendly way. Um, it was breathtaking to go through the hills. Quite an exercise, but absolutely worth it. Um, and to see the, the natural make of the land. Absolutely beautiful and I'd highly recommend to anybody who visits Antigua. Um, in fact, I dare say for the local Antiguans, that you should not be from Antigua and have never seen this. Mm. Thank you very much. My brother, that's it. Blessed love, give thanks to the life giver, give thanks to the keeper of life, and we go highly to that thing first. Honorable Priest Isaac here with you, of course, you know, we're in the tiger's nest, the Honorable Princess with us. As we give thanks, you know, you are observing the pyramids of Anu. We call them the pyramids officially. A pyramid is a four sided figure, and it does meet at the apex. It was past the masons that created these, what we refer to as sugar mills, as I would say again, the pyramids of Anu. And I do not just mean the literal work, the physical work and the sweat and the blood and the tears that went into the, the building of these monuments here, but I also mean the intelligence and the design. Don't let no one fool you. It is not the former slave masters that had the engineering skills to create the designs that you see and the buildings that you see behind of iron eye. But as I said, it was those that they refer to as slaves. For example, if you go to Mali, if you go to Timbuktu, if you go to Sudan, you see similar structures. You know, there are more pyramids in the Sudan than they have in Kenya and they have in Egypt. You see right here, and as in fact, let me just say before I go any further, that these so-called sugar mills, as you can see, one has been re re reconstructed to highlight the windmill as well. These are very unique to Antigua. I've traveled to the different Caribbean islands and there's nowhere else in the Caribbean that I see the amount, number one, the amount of sugar mills, or as I said, the pyramids of Anu. And in fact, in certain places, I don't see them at all. In fact, it's hard for me to even think. I think Senkis alone is the only place I can recall having something similar to this. And Senkis is well known for its shooting. So again, give thanks. We had Betty's Hope right here in Antigua. Honorable Priest Isaac with you. In fact, all those who will be visiting us for the spring equinox and even the solstices for summer and the winter, you will also get an opportunity to witness for yourself the pyramids of Anu. Give thanks, let the love protest, for Emmanuel I, Slasia, Ja, Rastafari. And blessed love, we're definitely here again next to another of the massive pyramids of Anu. 
what they refer to as sugar mills. As I said, these pyramids were built hundreds of years ago, said to be built by so-called slaves. As I said, they were not just built by the slaves, the Africans, but the, the engineering, the design, all of this were from the Africans. Don't mind what they try to teach you in the history books. As I said before, in the same way Benjamin Banneker built the whole Washington uh, complex, designed it with the, the, the architecture, architectural skills that he had. In the same way, these, um, not cylindrical really, but um, conal designs, semi-conal designs, which I call the pyramids of Anu. These were designed by the Africans, just in the same way you go to Mali, Timbuktu, and you see these sort of um, building structure. It's the same design, the same um, the same knowledge that we kept coming across the Atlantic Ocean for us to design these. Also, I mentioned before that they are very unique in Antigua. Almost 300 or maybe more than 300 remain of these, the sugar mills that, that, that took the sugar and created the molasses and, 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 and eventually became the rum and all of these things that made British or Britain rich right here in the Caribbean in Antigua. So as I said, all those who join us for the spring equinox and even the winter solstice and summer solstice and fall equinox on the island tour, you definitely will come and see some of the ruins that we have here. Plus, as I said, even made of Anu. Do give thanks to the life given to keep up life. Yeah, that's that's fine. Fine. And of course everyone blessed love as you can see we're right here on the Stonehenge of the Caribbean as it's called Green Castle Hill. And I'm here with brother John Winter, one of the um, the nationals right here, born and bred right here in Antigua. And of course he's very familiar with this area here, Green Castle Hill and the Shirkley Mountains. Brother John, we had a wonderful tour this morning and hike. I don't know if you like to tell the people a little of your experience and how you enjoyed the tour today. Oh yeah, man, uh, to say the least, um, uh, as people are aware that um, most lands are unique. Yes. But this uniqueness that you find here in Green Castle Mountain is something that is spectacular. And I don't mean that in any small sense of the word, but in a, in a large sense yes, of the word. Yes, my brother. Um, I think it would be a learning experience, not only to understand how everything is placed and composed, but more importantly, um, it, it's a, an uplifting feeling that one will get by simply being in the surroundings. So, as I started by saying that this is a unique place, and I think most people gravitate towards that, and the fact that the brothers are willing to share this natural beauty with you, mm -hmm. you consider yourself highly blessed. Thank you, my brother. Blessed love. Of course, you know, the spring equinox, 2020, from the 18th to the 22nd. Blessed.